Then let's go. Okay. Determined as I was, I just couldn't muster the courage to take that step first forward. To be honest, I was scared, because what if beyond this is just- Ah oh, jeez, this isn't like me. Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I'm gonna run away. I gotta move forward. Kaede. Don't worry about it. Let's go Shuichi. I psyched myself up and with newfound strength walked boldly towards the doors. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by blue skies, bright sunlight, gentle wind, and... Oh, a cage. Uh, That's interesting. I was expecting her to say, if only that was what was... If only that happened... Oh, gosh. I was not expecting us to actually go outside. And dang, we're in a cage is this gonna be like we're in a giant bird cage that's what it feels like but what's with the cage can't we just leave this, the separate separation is pretty huge the skyscrapers are thinner than the holes both words were accurate what stood up before us was both cage and a wall oh it's a wall oh i thought it's an actual cage well, yeah, it technically is a cage, but I thought it, I meant like um, the blue sky was an actual blue sky and stuff like that. Either way, the enormous wall struck a terrifying chord. The mere sight of an imposing presence was enough to send waves of panic through me. Is it? I'm confused. No matter where we looked ahead, behind, above, or all around, the cage surrounded the entire school. What is this? We're trapped. What's going on? Rise and shine, earth sign. Surprised about the cage, huh? I totally understand how you feel. First time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell out. That's not a healthy way to react to a surprise at all. Yeah, but it's so awesomely huge and I can see why it's called the end wall. End wall? Normally walls are erected to separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the world. What are you talking about? Huh? What we're talking about? Huh? Was someone talking? Was I talking? <laughs> Stop laughing and explain yourselves. There's nothing to explain. This is simply how it is, so please don't bother. You can't get out of here. That wall has no entrances or exit, and it cannot be climbed or demolished. An ultimate could probably climb it part way, but most of the time it's impossible. But they can still sort of climb it, huh? I took a deep breath and shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Someone help us! Eep! Please help us! Eep! <laughs> Someone, anyone, please help us! We're trapped inside this huge cage! Eep! Eep! <laughs> I guess she's shouting so loud. There's cracking their eardrums if they even have any. I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Uh. Please stop, you're, you'll hurt your throat. Yeah, scream all you like. No one can hear you anyway. No one can hear us? What do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? Da da da. Say something. Da -da -da. One of you just answer. Da -da -da. Monodam is ignoring the excellent them excellently because he refuses to open his heart. He can thank my fearsome bullying for making that happen. Now, now, let's all get along. Shut up, we're the Monocubs. We need to be tough and whatnot. 
What is this? There's things, the school, what is all this? He busts. Oh gosh, wait, what? Busts will have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find that out for yourself. But please watch yourself while you're exploring. The school is still under construction. Under construction? I looked around. It was true, some areas did seem as if they were still under construction. They look like they're still building some of the facilities here. Are they still in the middle of building this school? I don't think so. It seems more like they're renovating an abandoned school. Either way, construction will finish soon once we set the Exiles on autopilot. Exiles? Once part of a biker gang, the Exiles now wear construction to support their wives and kids. Do robots really need that kind of backstory? Their steering wheels are leopard print and their dashboards are lined with arcade prizes. Seriously, knock it off you guys. That sounds like... They sound like douchebags with backstories. <laughs> so long, farewell. And there they go again. But more importantly, is what they said really true? We can't escape? We can't go over that wall? And no one's coming to rescue us. Da da da. But if I give up now, then what? I sat both my cheeks as my face grew warm. I could feel my determination returning. Yeah. Hey, Shuichi, let's go see if we can find a way out. I should just name him Sushi. That's how what it sounds like every time I say it. Da da da. I slapped him upside the head just firm enough to get his attention. Ow! Suichi, I'm not great at motivating others, but we can't give up just because of a wall. We came in somewhere, so there has to be an exit. We may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually, somehow. Everyone just has to cooperate if we all want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. We got 146 coins. Mm, Alright, let's talk to you. You remind me a lot of Leon, that's why I think you're gonna die first. Jeez, how they even make this big wall? Seriously, I just don't get it. I wonder what will happen now if we can't escape them. What? What are you complaining? Huh? Quit complaining and grumbling, or I'll turn it into a habit. Or it'll turn into a habit. Okay. Besides, the cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. Huh? The universe? Oh! Oops! I haven't introduced myself yet. My bad. I am Kaito Momoka. I am Kaito Momoka, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate. Astronaut. Ultimate astronaut. How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, not anyone. Not just anyone can get up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. Oh, I see. <laughs> You're still a trainee. But I am the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you need a, a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? Then how did you take it? I had a friend who was pretty crafty, so I had him forge some stuff for me. That's illegal. Yeah, I ended up getting caught. I was in bridge. <laughs> but the people up top decided they liked me and let me in anyway. Of course, I aced the exam too. That's reckless. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. No way I can s no way I can wait till after college. I want to get to space as fast as I can. You sure have a lot of energy. Yeah, everyone told me it was impossible, but I never gave up. Not for a moment. That's because limits don't exist unless you set them yourself. There are no walls you can't get over. 
the same goes for that one. So do you have any ideas? Da -da -da. That's not the problem. <laughs> uh, no. That is the problem. Jeez, this guy sure talks a big game. <laughs> Kaitoma Mota, height 6. Weight 163, touch 35, but type April 12, house plans, the occult, ultimate astronaut. Got three more yeah. left. And then I'm stopping for today. Oh. I am in a different area. Did I skip someone? I did skip someone. Dormitory. So right here. Dormitory. This building is round and has has a lot of smaller rooms inside. Kumayori! Very nice to see you again. Kumayori! Why hello there, there. Sorry to intrude. Mm. What is it this time and what do you mean by intruding? Cause this is your home you best. <laughs> hey he's not supposed to say that. This dude is the one who's supposed to talk like that. We finished setting up the showers, now you can go pee. Nah. Why don't they just use the toilets? Huh? Even for number two? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, do you go number two in the shower? Yeah, that's gross. So long, farewell. Okay. What do you mean, our home? So you mean for us to live here? See, there's 16 doors. Perhaps a room for each of us? I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Alrighty. Who are you? I failed to see their objective. Huh? What do you mean? If they're holding us for ransom, a large facility such as this would be unnecessary. Furthermore, I gather they would rather care for us than hurt us. In light of this, I fail to see the true objective of the culprits responsible for kidnapping us. Culprits, huh? I never even thought about that. Why would our kidnappers go through all this trouble? Sixteen ultimate students have been gathered here, but why? What's the reason? Pardon me, I have not introduced myself yet. I like this character. <laughs> I am Kirumi. Kirumi Toyo. Tojo. Is it Toyo or Tojo? Toyo? Tojo. I'm gonna just go with Toyo. Oh, you know. They do pronounce the Y, right? So, I am Kirumi Tojo. The ultimate maid. Please let me know if you require my services. Can we have... Oh no, the teacher was an ultimate housekeeper. Never mind. I like this character. This character's pretty cool. Wow, the ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent. Oh wait, I've heard of Kirimu Tojo. An ultimate with incredible intellect, strength, working as a private maid. I heard that her work is so perfect she can complete any request given to her. What? She's that amazing? Please, you're exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. Once I, one, I once received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but as it was impossible, I rejected it. But being requested to do that is pretty impressive on its own. I also heard that she's been hired as a bodyguard to several foreign dignitaries. I've only been employed as a maid, not as a bodyguard. But you have been hired by so many important people, you look like a super maid. Moving on, what do you intend to do now? That's a tough question. Um, what should we do? What would you do, Kirimu? I hold no opinions or desires on which to speak. As a maid, my only desire is to fulfill the desire of others. So please think about what you desire for yourself and what you desire from me. 
No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I am here to serve everyone. Even in this situation, she's more concerned for others. Well, she is the ultimate maid after all. Obtained fragment. Kirimu, please think about what you desire for yourself and what you desire for me. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I am here to serve everyone. Can I jump? I haven't even checked if I can jump. Okay, I can't jump. Have I talked to you yet? Nope. Alrighty. Dots. Whoa, this guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. Um, excuse me. Oh, thank you? What? Huh? Thank you? <laughs> oh, sorry for scaring. Gonta... Gonta? I don't... Gonta's scary looking. Most people don't... Most people don't... Most people not want to talk to Gonta when meeting for first time. Oh no. I'm gonna mess up this dude's speech every single time. Like, his slang and my slang are mixing. That's why I kept saying most people don't wanna instead of most people not wanna. So like, gentlemen Gonta, say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. I feel like Gonta's not gonna be a killer. I say that now, there's probably people laughing at me like he's 100% a killer. Um, thank you for being so polite. He looks scary. He doesn't seem very scary at all. I feel like he's a, a, the gentle giant stereotype oh. is what he'll be. Alright, oh, Gonta need to make introduction. Um. Oh yeah, so it is Gonta. Gonta's name is Gonta Gokuhara. Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. Entomologist, not entomolo. Entomologist. I don't know what entomologist Gonta is. Gonta... Gonta want to become gentleman, becoming true gentleman Gonta's goal. Ultimate entomologist. Uh so you're Gonta. That's a really cute name. Huh? Hmm? Really? Thank you. <laughs> uh... Aw, you're pretty nice. Oh dang it. Oh, you're actually pretty nice. Silly me for being scared at first. Yeah, buddy. Oh, Gonta's scary looking, huh? Oh, sorry, that's not what I... Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's okay. Gonta used to it. Gonta called scary since he was a kid. I like this character. Since you were a kid, huh? Kid Gonta bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of Gonta. I like that he speaks in third person. So Kid Gone to play alone, that's how Gone to come to like bugs. Oh, so entomologist is bugs. Okay. But when Gone to really focus, it's easy to lose track. One day Gone to go to forest to find bugs, end up lost. That sounds rough. Were you able to find the way? Yeah, took, <laughs> took 10 years though. 10 years. <laughs> that's my reaction, Kaede. But Gonta fine, new family took care of new family. Took care of Gonta. I see, I'm glad they were nice people. 100 percent bet he's gonna say no they were bugs or no they were animals. Oh not people wolves? I knew it. <laughs> I like Kaide's reaction. But they're really nice. Cause of forest family, Gonta learned to speak bug and animal. I say he's going to want to show for his family what great gentleman Gonta is. Um, how is becoming a gentleman gonna going to thank them for that? This place strange, huh? Lots of plants but no bugs. Interesting, that's weird. Wait, really? I suppose it's understandable that there are no animals but no insects? Exactly, that's kind of strange. That's strange, not even one bug. You like bugs too. Hey, what's your favorite bug? What do you like? <laughs> okay. 
Gonta is Gonta's going in Super Saiyan mode. Ah, no, I wasn't saying that I like bugs or anything. Th then you hate bugs? Okay. I take it back. I feel like someone could use him to frame for murder. Cause he does- cause he um, loves his bugs and this is his reaction. I bet someone will- oh no. Okay, this is what I think. Basically, someone kill Gonta's bugs and blame it on someone else. Next day, they'll kill the person that they blamed. That way it looks like Gonta killed the person. There. What? You hate bugs? I hate bugs. No offense, I don't like bugs that much. Um, you don't hate bugs, you love them, right, Shuichi? <laughs> yeah, of course I do. I love bugs. Dot dot dot. Oh, okay, that's good. No bad person likes bugs. Um, Gonta's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. That was scary. Phew, yeah, I thought you were gonna die. Honestly, I can't stand bugs either, but it might be best to hide that. Yeah, definitely don't, don't reveal that. Alrighty, next up, this way. The chick. Last one is a girl. She'll be in here. Shrine of Judgment. Is this where the trials will happen? It says Judgment. Oh. Oh yeah, maybe not. Seeing as I was destructible. Grab all the money we can. Alrighty, let's talk to you now. Yaha! Yeah. How are you? Or how are you? My name is Angie Yong Yonaga. Oh no. My name is Angie Yonaga. The, I'm the ultimate artist. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. I want to be an artist. You're pretty cheerful. He's a bit too happy considering the safe situation we're in right now. Yeah. <laughs> There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with you. You gotta live every day like it's bright, cheery, and fun. So says Atua. Atua? The god of my island. Oh no. Atua is always with me. Oh no. I feel like she might kill someone. And then I won't go any further on what I'm saying, but yeah. Well, she's certainly devout. Do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Mm, I do both. I paint paintings and I sculpt sculptures. But Atua is the one who makes art. I merely offer my body as a vessel. Oh no. Yeah, how divine. I feel like someone could convince her into killing. I see, that's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course. In return, will you make an offering? An offering? Every Monday and Wednesday morning on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting out trash for pickup. Oh, no. Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just mean a pint or two of your blood. I take back what I said about her being cool. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm a bit anemic. 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 I see, what about you then? Huh? Me? Boy's blood is also acceptable as an offering. Come on, come on, it won't hurt one bit. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, <laughs> Don't run away. This girl is so weird. 